Well, hello, it's Lady of Houston bringing you a taste of Houston. And I have with me, finally, Belle. <laughs> I didn't mean finally. But at any rate, we're here because we're on our way to a place called the Lyric Market. The Lyric I was looking Market. at you because I was wondering, did you remember the name? Nope. We're going to Houston's Lyric Market. It's a relatively new place in downtown Houston. It is like an upscale kind of food court, I want to say, but I hate to use that term because it's a really nice place. I'm going to get some footage of it, but we've been invited there by Valerie's sister. She saw it online and she just wanted to check it out. So we're on our way. We're going to get some good cuisine, I hope, down there. They have a lot mm. of options, so we'll see what they have. And we're going to rate the food and let you guys know what we think. So... Until we see you again. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> There's a Francis Cafe and Grill. We're at the Lyric, the Lyric Market downtown Houston. And we're checking it out for the first time. Valerie's sister invited us here. And we're just roaming about trying to see what restaurants they have. It's kind of like a higher upscale roti roll. Oh, Indian food. Love me some Indian food. I may check them out. Kind of like a higher end, like full court, I want to say. It's called the Lyric Market, downtown Houston again. And we're just walking around checking out the restaurant options that we have. This is a waffle place here. Let's see what else they have. Over here, Mexology. I think that's a Mexican joint. Yeah, it looks like Mexican food there. All right. Then we have here, Po' Boy's Kitchen. I would imagine that's some, what, Cajun Louisiana cuisine here. Check out the menu. Hello, how are you guys? Hello, hello. This place is called, let's see. This place is called Lyric Garage. And looks like we have sandwiches, huh? Size. Mama's plates, Mama's fuzz. Oh, oh, it's called Mama's sandwich and wraps. Okay. Oh, that's just directions to the lyric garage. <laughs> there we go, Mama's barbecue. Okay. I think they're just opening this about a little after eleven o'clock. The lady at the uh, Cajun place back there said that uh, some of their food won't be ready until noon time. So I'm just. We're just walking around waiting for our other guests to arrive, our sister. This is their big old bar. Here's Sylvia, Val's sister. There's the other sister who just came. Hey, Joe. So this is the sushi place here. This is the sushi place, a bunch of sushi options. This is the chicken tikka masala from the Indian restaurant. That looks good. I the lost taste of chicken tikka masala. <laughs> And tacos and my chicken tikka. Oh, those are shrimp tacos. Yeah, they you can tell so when they tell the story because they start saying, Look, Houston, look, Texas, look, for the game. first time today. And in my opinion, the food was good. I had Indian food, cheap chicken tikka. It was good. And I also had some really good shrimp tacos from Mexology or something like that. I'm going to ask my guests here, my family, how do they enjoy their meal? And on the scale from 1 to 10, what would they rate it? I rated mine a 8.89 out of 10, but it was good. Okay, pumpkin pie. What did you have? Pumpkin had a, a turkey club. What would you rate it, pumpkin? I'm saying it was a good night. Oh, pumpkin. 
Pumpkin raided her turkey club from the Lyric Market downtown Houston. A nine. And Valerie rates her, I didn't like hers, but anyway, she demolished it in terms of tearing it apart. She didn't eat the whole thing. She had a pizza, the pizza waffle. She destroyed it. What would you rate it and why, Valerie? I like the middle. This was the outside. What was in the middle that you liked? Pizza, uh, pepperoni and cheese. Okay, what all right. So outside which, that you didn't like? That you, okay, yeah. They put it on a sweet waffle. I thought it would be on a, a waffle that would taste like a pizza crust. Mm-hmm. Right. But mm -hmm. it's a sweet waffle, so the taste, I had to taste it She didn't apart. like that. And also, it looks like the waffle got just a wee bit soft. So what's your overall score out of 10, what's Valerie? Four oh. and a half. Y'all, okay, y'all heard it. That's eight, I eat half of it, so I'll say five. And now we give our honest opinions around here. Mr. Joe had, oh, he had the other side of his wife's. So uh, I had the other half. The other half of, half of his other half. Of his other half. Yeah, yeah, the other half of the other half, exactly. And? So, how I rate it. A lot of meat. The oh, a lot of meat. Yeah, the vegetables were good. All okay. Night. The bread was really thick. Okay. Which I don't like too much bread. It was toasted. It was toasted. Too much. But it wasn't butter. Oh, no butter. Was it, it th was it three pieces of bread or two? It was two. Two. So it was the just thickness three. of the bread. Oh, her husband said this is pumpkin's husband. It was bread. Bread. It's not thin. Oh, wifey, wifey said it's not thin. Look, look, she done had her <laughs> turn. This is mine. All right. <laughs> y'all, wifey stole the show. Y'all, so, wifey stole the show. So let's see if it say look. So it was look. So. <laughs> So it was thick, a lot of meat. Okay, okay. The bread was too freaking thick, but too thick for the bread, yo. So I rated a grand total of seven point five. That's a seven point five, you guys, from the GQ Joe. All right, there's lovely Rhonda is her name, and she has. Oh, y'all, we convinced her to get Indian food, but she got Indian food with the twist, honey. She said, "Customize my plate." What you got, girl? What you got? Chicken tea bowl. Okay. With the chutney sauce. Chutney sauce. Of the is that a sweet sauce? Sweet sauce. Okay. Instead, Instead of the, of the, tikka. the, the What is that? The, the tikka, tikka sauce. sauce. Okay. Right. And on a scale from one to ten, what would you uh, rate your dish, girl? I'll say it's about a nine point eight. Well, you know, nine point eight. That's really good for Rhonda's what first time eating Indian food. Yeah, but she ain't giving up her secret shots because she did have another dish, but I don't see it oh, is gone. Wish it. This is gonna be my snack. My midday she snack. She had chicken and chicken waffles. waffles. And that was and just let pretty me taste good. It. That was pretty good. That was yeah, pretty good. Exactly. What would you give that on a scale from one to ten? We love the people know should they make 10. it down to the lyric market, y'all. A ten. Okay. You don't want to be on camera. <laughs> so, we just, oh, so we really not gonna oh, show God, it. So I just want to tell you, I also had the TV chicken. What you say, brother? And I'm gonna give it about an eight. I thought it was pretty okay. good. It was pretty good. Was I, that your first time eating it? It was first time, and I was it's actually first time, it. you yeah. guys. So you just want a profile. And he gave it. I will have it again. And you have it again. Okay, I just want to make sure you get this out of me. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, That's his sister, y'all, in the yeah. background. She gonna get him good. I am not a part she of that. Don't want, she don't want to give a review because she will pose back and, there. And the, yeah, you didn't see the I talk for the lady in the corner over there. She doesn't want to get on the camera. But she had a... Debbie, what'd you have? She had a brisket and sausage wrap. Wrap. With some barbecue sauce that was inside. And you said it was pretty good? And green beans. She said it was good. Oh, she gave it an 8.5. So that means, I think our lowest score was a 4 from Valerie's Waffles. I would still encourage you to make your way down to the Lyric Market in Houston, Texas. And choose a restaurant option. A little bit of something for everybody. Sis says it's a little bit of something for everybody. Says, and also, two hours of validated free parking. Remember to hang on to your receipt. There's a QR code on the receipt that you're going to have to scan, I think, at the window on your exit. So don't forget, if you purchase something, get, keep your receipt. There's also a bar. We didn't try any beverages from the bar. But um, at any rate, I give it a thumbs up. Bring it on down to the Lyric Market in Houston, Texas. I had to capture this moment. Look at hot sis over there. Now you go, girl. You, you That's the lady who didn't want to talk earlier, y'all. But look at her, honey. <laughs> We made it back. We're back. So what you think, Val? Mm -hmm. I, I, I tossed in some footage of um, who joined us today, Valerie's siblings and their spouses, and I, and, and a family friend, and a family friend who's like a sister to us, Miss Debbie, 
and we ordered different cuisines but we all rated our food there and you probably saw on the video clip what we kind of thought of our cuisine overall it's a good experience i wanted to pop in here and say yes if you're in houston you want to check out a food establishment or a place where it has multiple food options you're not sure what you want to eat that's a good place to go today is sunday it was not crowded for us at all so we had some you know really good uh options to sit and there was no lines at all i will say that it's maybe a little on the pricey side if you're going to swing there for lunch uh i think our average lunch uh, cost about mine was 20 bucks i ate at the indian cafe and i also ate at uh i can't remember the name of the mexology mexology restaurant. twenty dollars each mine was 20 bucks each so and each i had restaurant yeah you saw or you saw the video of what i had the three tacos from the mexican place and then the chica take up masala from the Indian place, but it was, it was good. And Valerie Ron's was only about 11 bucks, but I'm pretty cheap. I don't <laughs> eat a lot. She doesn't eat a lot. And she had the, um, we're, we're recapping what I posted earlier. She had the, uh, waffle pizza, pizza, pizza waffle. waffle and, um, and water. I tasted, it was okay. I think because it was like pizza ingredients inside of two waffles, the pizza ingredients made the waffle just a little bit soft for me. So I didn't like the texture and I don't care for pepperoni. So it wouldn't be a dish that I would try, but the good thing is that you had some options to try. So she gave it a shot. And what do you think again overall? About a five. She's, I think before she Only said because a four. The, because the waffles were sweet. If mm -hmm. they just left them plain, yeah. it would taste more like pizza. Yeah, yeah. But so our overall experience uh, with the Lyric Cafe or the Lyric Market was, uh, again, I'll give it a thumbs up. Till next time, it's Lady of Houston bringing you a tank. Stuff Houston and toodles. toodles.